Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. Today, in this video, I will show you how to prepare attractive diagram by using Microsoft PowerPoint and also how to add animation to that diagram. This video is also available in Hindi explanation. Link of the video is given in the description box. This video is divided into two parts. In the first part, we will know how to make diagram and in the second part, how to add animation to that prepared diagram. As you can see on the screen, this is the diagram of autoclave, which is used for the sterilization of any object. This diagram is not taken or downloaded from anywhere. We have prepared this diagram by only using PowerPoint. So, first of all, see this image. This image consists of many sections or you can say many parts and one by one by adding these sections means part, we have prepared this complete diagram using PowerPoint. And this step by step process I will show you in this video. So, let's start. This is the normal PowerPoint screen and you can see many options on the top. But for preparing diagram, we need only two options, the shape and icon. If you are using the paid version of the Microsoft Office, means if you are using the paid version of PowerPoint, then this icon and the 3D model are easily available to you, as you can see in the video. And if you are using the pre version or the pirated version, then maybe not sure you will not get the access to this option, means icon and 3D model. Then also you can easily make the diagram by using some alternative because for making diagram, we will maximum use this shape option. So first we have to focus on the shape option. This shape is available in the insert, you can see here. There are many options as you can see in the video. This is line, one sided arrow line, both side arrow line, etc. Below here, you can see the basic shapes, and we maximum require this oval shape, uh, cylindrical shape, and this cube shape. And next, this tool is freestyle, means free form shape, by which you can easily draw any shape. And next is the free form is scribble. So, first of all, we are preparing the base just like the platform on which the autoclave is placed. So, to make this shape, so first take a new slide. You can see here this slide is totally blank. And then first click insert, then click shape icon and search for the shape which look like tabletop. So, we are searching for the cube. Here you can see this is the cube option. Click the cube, then you can see the pointer changes from the arrow to plus. Then click on the slide and then drag up to the size you required and to decrease the width then here you can see many op points left you can see three white dots and the right side you can see three white points and and the center of the bottom and the top you can see two white dots click on the white points and drag it up and down to increase or decrease the width and in the left side yellow dot and by clicking and dragging this yellow dot you can change the structure of the cube just like this and also here you can increase or decrease the width and next by clicking the left side of the mouse on the shape you can see four sided arrow and when this four sided arrow appear on the shape then you can easily drag the shape or you can say you can easily move this shape anywhere on the slide up or down left side or right side according to your need so according to this diagram this shape is means this base of the cortoclave is in the bottom of this slide so we are placing it here so here we have prepared the base on which the autoclave is placed like the diagram and then next we have to prepare the body of the autoclave so, to prepare the body, you can see here the diagram of the autoclave. If we ignore the top of the autoclave, then you can see the shape of the autoclave is like cylindrical. So, come back to the slide, then go to insert, click the insert, then go to the shape option, click the shape, search for the cylindrical shape. Uh, click on the cylindrical shape, then come to the slide, where we have to draw the cylindrical shape. And when we click on the slide, plus sign appear. 
drag the plus sign by clicking the mouse according to your need means according to the requirement of the size if you require thin or you can say small diameter or you can require the large diameter of the autoclave or like this you can increase or decrease the height of the autoclave and after adjusting the size of the autoclave click on the shape drag it and place it on the base which we have prepared place it properly over the base so that it looks like that autoclave is placed means kept over the platform now we have to change the color of this cylinder according to the image here you can see the color of the cylinder is yellow click on the cylinder as you click on the cylindrical shape drawing tool appear on the top you can see here the shape fill shape outline and the shape effect option so to fill our shape with color means to fill the color into the cylindrical shape click the shape fill choose the color from this different color option here i have selected yellow color here you can see the color of the cylinder changes to yellow and then we are again adjusting the shape of the cylindrical with the help of by using white dots on its shape by using yellow dot we can adjust the circular shape of the cylinder and then next step is to add water into the cylinder means into the autoclave for this again go to insert then shape option you can see here the magnetic disk shape which is a short version of the cube click on this magnetic disk shape and then and then move this shape inside the cylinder at the bottom and then adjust according to the width of the cylinder and here you can see this is perfectly adjusted inside the cylinder you can increase or decrease the level of water according to your need here we have to give the appearance of this shape just like water inside it just like this diagram so for this click on the shape go to the drawing tool click and then click the shape fill you can see here the color option more fill option eye dropper picture gradient and texture click on the texture here you can see many options in the texture and here this texture is just like the texture of water click on this texture and you can see the texture of this part changes to water like texture looking like just water is filled inside this cylinder and if we want to change the outline color go to the shape outline option select the color here i am selecting black color for the outline you can see here the outline changes to black color next according to the diagram we have to insert the tray like shape so to make this tray like shape again go to the insert option then click on it click on the shape option then select magnetic disk which we have recently used click on this option and then click on the slide make disk like shape and then drag it inside the beaker other option you can also choose uh, cube shape adjust the shape just like to give the structure of tray and by using yellow dot you can adjust the width of the disk drag it inside the cylinder now here you can see in the diagram the color of the disk is gray so to change the color click on this image click on the drawing tool then go to the shape fill select gray color and then go to the shape outline select black color to change the outline to black and next again according to our diagram we have to make the stand of this tray again go back to our slide go to the insert option then click on it and then go to shape option click on it and then and now we require freestyle option by this option we can draw line according to our requirement click on the free from shape plus sign appear on the slide and as you can see from here we have to start click on this point then drag it like this according to the diagram this line is not straight but slightly bent so at this point again single click and then slightly move it in the upward direction at the left side and then double click you can see here one stand of the tray is ready now we have to make this stand on the other side of the tray for this so before doing this first of all we have to increase the thickness of the line means thickness of the stand just like our diagram for this click on this shape means click on the stand 
then go to the drawing tool then click on the shape outline you can see the option here weight by this option you can increase the thickness of the line here i am selecting the highest point option means highest point 6 click on it you can see here the thickness of the line means stand is increased so for the other side stand of the tray copy this stand and then paste click on the second stand and then go to the rotate option on the right side corner click and rotate it flip it horizontal and drag it to the appropriate position just below the tray just like a stand next we have to insert the objects on the tray which we want to sterilize for this an icons is available in the paid version of microsoft powerpoint so again go to the insert option then click on it then click on the icons you can see many options here in the different sections we require here beaker scissor and the conical flask according to our diagram and these are available in the education section so go to the education section this is the education section click on the scissor means tick on the seizure then beaker and then conical flask and then click insert here you can see all the three selected icons are here in the slide and then place it properly according to the need by dragging it place the beaker means drag it over the table top on the left side and then click on the conical flask drag it you can also increase or decrease the size of the icons according to your need and then click on the scissor and then drag it on the table drag the scissor you can rotate it by using the rotate option and then move it place it over the tree next according to the diagram we have to make the cover of the autoclave means we have to add cover of this cylinder again click on the insert and then go to the shape click and then search for the cube shape or you can choose magnetic disk shape click the magnetic disk shape and then click on the slide drag it and adjust the size to fit it properly over the cylinder but you can see here in this diagram the cover is like a dome shape but in our diagram it is not like this so to change it into the dome shape what we have to do before changing it to the dome shape first uh, here i am changing the color of this shape by the same process means click on the shape go to the drawing tool then click the shape fill option then select the gray color and again go to the shape outline option select the black color here our cover is converted into gray color with black outline now to make this shape means this cover of the autoclave into dome shape what we have to do first click on this shape means this cover and then after selecting this shape right click on the mouse you can see after right clicking you can see many options then go to the edit points click on the edit point and here you can see many points 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and here are the total 7 points which can be edited click on this top center point and move it in the upward direction like this and adjust it according to the diagram to get the exact dome shape of the autoclave car and then click on the outside of the shape and then you can properly adjust this it over the cylinder remember that intermittently don't forget to click on the save option to save all your content which you have prepared next we have to make the pressure gauge safety valve whistle for this again go to the insert option then to the shape option click it as you can see here for making this diagram we are using this same cylindrical shape again and again to make the different parts of the autoclave adjust the cylinder of this shape so that it look just like the whistle and then drag it over the at the center of the dome shape and then next we have to prepare the pressure gauge for this copy this whistle then paste 
and drag it on the left side where we have to add the pressure gauge and make this shape means cylindrical shape thin by adjusting the points and by using the rotate option tilt it and by using the points make it small and drag it adjust it properly as per your need here you can see the color is black so to change the color again uh, click on the shape then click on the diagram tool go to the shape field choose black color now this part of the pressure gauge is black now we have to add meter for this we require circle so that it look like pressure gauge for this select the oval shape click on it and then click on the slide and then with the help of white points adjust the size of the circle now drag it over the rod which we have prepared so that it look like complete pressure gauge just like this next here you can see the pressure gauge is white in color and inside it there is a arrow so first of all change the color from blue to white by using the same process select the shape click on the shape then go to the drawing tool then go to the shape fill color select the white color and then go to the shape outline select the black color outline here you can see the outline is thin so to get thick outline click on this shape means click on the circle then go to the drawing tool for this then go to the shape outline click it and then go to weight option click on it to get the thick outline of the circle next then we have to make the arrow again go to the insert and inside the insert go to the shape option click on the shape option search for the arrow you can see here this is the arrow and then click on the slide and then drag the mouse adjust the direction and the length of the arrow as per your need so according to the image arrow is pointed in slightly left direction so just like this we are moving our cursor in the left direction to get the arrow direction in the left side next we have to change the color of the arrow to red so for this again click on it go to the drawing tool then shape outline option select the red color and then again go to the weight option by which you can increase the thickness of the line as per your need and then after this and select any one of the thickness option and next drag this arrow inside the circle and now this pressure gauge is ready and then next we have to make the safety wall for this again go to the shape option in the insert and then select the oval means click on it and then on click on the slide and then adjust the oval shape and then select the green color in the shape fill option and place this shape on the right side of the dome but here you can see the difference this is circular and in our diagram this is in the compressed form so for this we have to change it in the three dimensional way so for this click on the circle go to the drawing tool and then to the shape effect option click on it you can see here the 3d rotation option you can see here the flat 3d shape click on it you can see this circle is now flat now rotate it slightly by using the rotate option to fit it properly over the dome shape outline now outline this shape with the black color using the same option means click on it go to the shape outline option in the drawing tool then click on the black color and then click on the weight to increase the thickness of the outline and then so here the safety wall is ready now we have to add coil or you can say we have to add heater on the autoclave and then next we have to add coil or you can say heater of the autoclave for this again click on the shape option in the insert select the cylindrical shape adjust the size of the cylinder as per your need change the color to red by clicking the shape fill option and now rotate it so that the position of the cylinder become horizontal and then drag it and adjust it and again copy it means copy this shape and then paste and then select the second image adjust the dots to make it small cylinder after this drag it and insert it inside the first cylinder and then select both this part of the heater means cylindrical shape of the heater by using control means 
by clicking the control you can select both the shape at a time and then adjust the location of this heater means you can locate this heater according to your need this side or this side where you want you can do it like this next we have to make the cable wire for this again go to the insert option click it and then go to the shape option click on it and and for this we have two options here the first option is free form scribble and second this is the wavy option you can choose any one of the option i have used here a curvy option click it and move it like a wave or you can say zigzag right left randomly at any direction so that it look like a wire of the autoclave and then double click on the slide you can see here wire is ready and to increase the thickness of the wire click on it go to the shape outline option then in the shape outline option go to the weight option select any thickness click on it now you can see the wire is thick and now you can see here our autoclave complete diagram is ready now we have to label all the parts of the autoclave so for this again click the insert and you can see here in the right side there is an option of text box and then click on the slide you can see here a text box appear and then type the content here we are typing water and then select the water and then change the font and the size according to your need and then label it onto the water inside the autoclave and next we have to label the other parts of the autoclave for this copy this text box of water and then paste it and then select the test and then type the object to be sterilized if you want to increase the font size then select the test go to the font size option a font size option and then select the font size you want just like this you can label all the parts of the autoclave for this arrow what we have to do you have to go to the insert option click on it and then click on the shape select the one sided arrow option click on it and then click on the slide where we have to label the part of the autoclave so here we have to point out the object to be sterilized and click on the slide and then drag to make the straight line here you can see the arrow pointed on the objects to be sterilized now now to change the thickness of the arrow again click on it then go to the drawing tool option then go to shape outline option click on it choose black color or any other color according to your need and then go to the weight option select any point of the thickness any options according to your need to change the thickness of the arrow so this is how we can make the diagram by using the powerpoint as you can see here we have prepared exactly the same diagram of autoclave as earlier the only difference is in the width in the second diagram it is of narrow diameter and the first one it is wider than the second one so this is how we can make the simple diagram by using powerpoint next in the second part we will show you how we can add animation to this diagram thank you very much for watching this video